Okay, we are going to run through this problem quickly here as just an example um, since I am not there today. Uh, and you can look at it, you can watch it, uh, and you can replay it, obviously, and uh, we'll do the best that we can with it. Uh, hopefully you can hear this uh, okay. So we've got uh, this problem right here. So it's a series circuit because there is one path that gets from one side of the battery to the other. We have two resistors in this circuit, and we have a battery. Um, that means there's three objects, and one of the first things that we said that we need to do is we need to write down Ohm's law for each of the objects that we have, which means we're going to be writing it down three times. Uh, before we can do anything like that, we, there's a couple of things that we want to do. We want to number each of these resistors, so I'm going to label that R1, and I'm going to label this R2. There's no rhyme or reason to which one you label or why. It's just uh, uh, something that for us for bookkeeping for later. Uh, we're always going to label the battery as total. So we have one, two, and total. Those are our three objects there, sort of in blue. I don't know if you can see the color. This also says that this is an 18 volt battery. Being an 18 volt battery means that goes with the total. So this right here is going to be for our V total when we write down Ohm's law. Now remember that Ohm's law we write as V equals IR. And then we put subscripts here, here, and here that match the subscripts that we have up there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write down Ohm's law for each one of these uh, things. So I'm going to say V total is equal to I total, R total. I'm also going to put uh, V1 is equal to I1, R1, and V2 is equal to I2, R2, D2. That's right. All right, um, so we have each one of those things. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we need to write down the rules for a series circuit as they apply. So the rules for a series circuit are as follows, and the order doesn't particularly matter, but I'll write them down like this. Uh, it is that the voltage adds up to the total voltage, and again, these are in your reference table. It's that the current is the same everywhere, so I total is going to be equal to I1 is going to be equal to I2. And because I don't have room on this line, I'm going to write down below that R total is equal to R1 uh, plus R2. And I'm choosing just to go to 2, even though in the reference table it has 3s for each one of these things, because uh, we only have 2 resistors in here. And then we also have the total. And again, this really should be REQ, the equivalent resistance, uh, but we are writing it this way uh, so that we can match up all of our subscripts. It's just a technique that we're going to be using to our benefit. So now I'm going to go through each one of these things uh, and I'm going to substitute in the values that I have. So that's the third thing I have to do. Uh, R1 appears in two places, so that's right here. So here is R1. It's 9 ohms, right? And it also appears down here, okay, as 9 ohms. R2 appears in two places as well, all right? It's 27 ohms. And so I can go ahead and I can substitute in for that. Here's uh, plus 27 ohms. R2 also appears up here as 27 ohms. Okay. Uh, I also have the battery. I don't want to forget about that. The battery is 18 volts. It appears in two places. So it's 18 volts here, and, uh, and it's 18 volts there as well. So I can't solve this equation. I have two unknowns. I can't solve this equation. I have two unknowns. This equation also has two unknowns. Two unknowns. I don't have anything here yet. And this is the only equation that I can solve so far. So I go ahead and I solve this one. I add these two things together, um, uh, which to me says that I can find R total and R total to be uh, 36 ohms. Now, as soon as I know that 36 ohms, I can then uh, substitute that in up above. So I know this here, which means I can write 36 ohms in here as well. So every piece of information has two places, so we're making sure that we can do that. So we have uh, I total there. Uh, which we can then divide that out and solve for I total. No, so as soon as you get that new piece of information, you're going to be able to solve uh, an another equation. The current is now 0.5 amps, right? And I can substitute that in, right? Now I know that this is I total. Each one of these is going to be 0.5 amps. So we have 0 0.5 amps here. That's going to be equal to I1, which is also going to be equal to I2. Substituting it up here, right? I'm going to change colors just because I'm getting a little close there. 
I know these, uh, this, all these fancy colors are pretty fancy. All right, so uh, we get that this is 0.5 amps is equal to V1, and we get that this 0.5, getting a little messy here, amps is equal to V2, multiplying each of these uh, by a half. All right, sorry. Uh, sorry. This is 4.5 volts. Um, and what do we have over here? So we have V2 should be equal to 13.5 volts. Uh, I can put each of these in down here and this will ultimately be my check. So I have to say to myself, uh, does 4.5 volts plus 13.5 volts equal 18 volts? And it does. So there's our check. So right now we have just a whole problem uh, done out from start to finish of a series circuit.